So I think CLL um, has had a real paradigm shift in terms of treatments available for patients with CLL and you know um, even five, six years ago, the landscape of treatments has just changed dramatically um, for these patients. And so in terms of unmet need, I think that one of the things is that we know that CLL is a very heterogeneous disease. And, and whilst all these new therapies are of great benefit to many of our patients, um, some of our patients are with the high risk features are progressing through them very quickly. And so we are still getting patients who aren't one step ahead, if you like, of the treatments available. And it's what to do with those patients who have progressed through BTK inhibitors, have progressed through um, venetoclax-based regimens. And, you know, there may be trial options available for these patients, but managing them can be difficult. And so I think whilst they might be a small cohort of patients, um, I, I think it is an area of unmet need. One of the other aspects, again, that's been touched on in BSH um, in the CLL um, session um, is about the um, the immune complications that can occur with patients with CLL, that by nature of having CLL, this, this renders the patient to a certain extent immunosuppressed, partly because of the disease itself and partly because of the treatments that we're giving. And it's acknowledging that the impact that that can have on the patient, both in terms of quality of life and morbidity and potentially mortality, as we've all unfortunately experienced through the COVID pandemic. And so knowing how to manage that aspect and what um, our treatment choices, how our treatment choices impact on that will be really important going forwards.